Hello YouTube subscribers, viewers, and other people. Cool Mummy one here. And today, this is a video on Daisy looting tips and tricks. If you would like to see more videos on uh, this kind of thing, just like and comment below. But uh, as I said, today's is on looting. You know, the next one could be on, you know, urban combat, rural combat, and all that. So I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get to the video. Step one, scouting. Now you're probably saying to yourself, well, that's pretty basic, and... I say that to myself too, but some people out there don't take the time to scout out. And the reason you have to do this, if you're wondering, is because you don't know where everyone could be with the amount of trees and, you know, all the terrain. And you're going to want to take the time to scout out where you're going to go, uh, the possible ambush places around it, where anyone could be. And then from there, you'll want to start heading up. Step 2. Advance cautiously. Now this step would play out according to your kind of environment. If you're in the urban environment, you'll go building to building. But in here, you'd go tree to tree, which I don't really do because I'm in more of a isolated location. And this is only for, you know, tip purpose video for tips and tricks for you guys. But when advancing, you're going to want to keep tabs around you. You're going to want to look behind you. You're going to want to go cover to cover if you are in a high populated location. And... Yeah, you're always going to like want to hold alt and just look around. Kind of skip over my words there, but yeah, you're going to want to like hold alt and look around you, make sure everything's still the same as it was before. And if you did spot an enemy, keep tabs on them. Now for the next step. Step 3, shut doors behind you. For some players this might be a given, and for others it may not be. You might be wondering, "Well, cool, let me why?" And the reason I do this is because when I shut a door behind me, I'll always be able to keep tabs on that door whether a player has entered, exited, whatever the case might be, and I'll know whether someone has came into my spot of looting, and all that. So now for the next step. Step 4, clearing the loot area. Now this one, not a lot of people do it. Now what clearing the loot area means is before you get greedy with your loot and start looting, you're going to want to clear the building of, you know, any people. You're going to want to look through every room, make sure no one's in. Uh, you're going to want to have your gun drawn, if you have one, or melee weapon in the attack position, which is spacebar. And you're going to want to clear the building before you start looting. Once you're done looting, you go accordingly. Step 5. Leave the same way you entered. Now, you were safe up to this point. This point, like, this kind of step isn't really, uh, you don't really have to do it. But the reason I say you should is because you're already experienced with what cover there is in that way. Now this doesn't much really apply to the rural environment because there's trees everywhere, you know the cover. But in urban environments, you're going to want to leave the same way you entered. Reason being is because you know the cover as I said before, you know what to expect, and you know what to do if you're attacked from behind. And occasionally you're going to want to back, <clears throat> you're going to want to look behind you, sorry. And, you know, make sure no one's there, make sure no one's following you out of your loot location. And after that, you can go accordingly and you're done with the looting steps. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. You'll be sure to see more of this and like the video and comment if you like this step-by-step -step guide. And if you're new to Daisy, hope wish you all the best of luck. <laughs> see ya.